All right, what's up, Nova Canine Academy squad? We are here with Athena, who is a 125 pound Great Dane, other known as a Dane Mastiff. And she pulls a good amount, a lot, for a 125 pound tog who is extremely powerful. It's hard to handle her. Uh, her owners have used a prong collar, but today, all we're gonna be doing is showing you guys exactly how we build some engagement on a leash. This is our first training session outside, loose leash walking. If you want to see how to do that with a big dog, make sure you watch to the end. So the first thing we're going to do is we're hooking Athena up to a prong collar. We're not using the 2.25, we're using a 3.0, Herm Springer. She's a big dog. The vast majority of dogs we work with, we use a 2.25, but not for her. And essentially, what we need to do is show her proper leash pressure and use proper leash pressure. The leash should never ever be tight. If it's tight, you're doing something wrong and you should have done something a second or two ago. I'll explain. When I pull a dog, their automatic response, they want to lean away so you don't pull them back. What we want to do is teach Athena, hey, you feel this pressure? Opposition reflex, you come back here, right? We are debunking her opposition uh, reflex. We're teaching her, you feel pressure, you come back to me. So on our walk, she's pulled a lot. All we're doing to start off is getting her used to this prong collar pressure. She's used a prong collar, but we're doing it the right way with proper leash pressure. So she goes like that, little bit of pressure. Yes, good, Athena. And we're, yes, good. She's not food motivated. We're not even gonna try to give her treats because she's not gonna eat them. Yes, just a little bit of pressure. All we're doing is teaching her here, you come back to me, right? You feel the pressure, you come back to me. She does have some reactivity as well, which we will be touching. So if you do want to see that, make sure you subscribe. But today, all we're focusing on is the leash pulling and building some engagement. We're not teaching a heel, loose leash walking. That's all we're doing. Loose leash walking means you walk wherever you want, but you have to have a loose leash. That's why they call it loose leash walking. Again, just a little bit of pressure. Yes, good. When she comes back to me, we're encouraging her, rewarding her. Yes, this is what we want. If you, when she's walking next to me, I'm sure I look like I'm four feet tall because of how big she is, but good girl. Very easy to pet as well. Dane Mastis. Yes, good Athena. This is all we're teaching her, right? We don't wanna, we don't wanna overcorrect. We also don't wanna undercorrect. Right now, we're just teaching her to turn the pressure off. Once we do this for a little while, we've done this a for a couple minutes before we started filming, what we're gonna do is start bringing out some sudden U-turns into this equation. When she gets ahead, right now she's totally fine. I'm not gonna do anything, I'm not gonna correct this. But when she gets too far ahead right before the end of the leash, I'm gonna turn around and walk that way, like this. Yes, good, good girl. I'll turn around and keep walking to you guys, but we want to, her to just pay some attention to us. And we are correcting the behavior of her paying zero attention to us because she's a big dog. It can be a safety hazard. It can be a problem. This is, this is totally fine, but she's getting to the end of the leash right now and we'll do it. Good, yes, yes. Yes, and I'm encouraging her when she gets back to where we want. Good girl, come on. Good, yes. So. Whenever we give a dog a correction, we have to fill the void after the correction with good behavior and show a dog, hey, you're doing something wrong. This is what we want you to do. So that's why I'm encouraging her when she gets back to me after the correction. I'm also, I'm not doing any crazy sudden U-turns. I'm not using a lot of pressure. She's a more sensitive dog, even for her size. So, right, every dog has their own proper correction level. U-turn. Another quick thing. I'm gonna to talk to you guys as I'm walking that way, but we need to be very clear with what we're doing. If Athena gets to the end of the leash, now, right when the leash is tight, it's already too, it's too late to do a U-turn. We have to, if she gets to the end of the leash, what we have to do is go a little bit forward to create some slack for that pop. But if she's at the end of the leash, we've already done something wrong. And so that's why I say, if the leash is tight, you're doing something wrong and you should have done something a second ago. But I'll give you a great example of this right now. 
She's getting an leash. Now I have to do it before it gets tight. What we're going to do is we're going to practice these sudden U-turns for a couple training sessions. Once we're done with sudden U-turns, we're going to bring in the sudden stops. Same exact thing, but we're just stopping suddenly. We're not punishing her for, we're not mad at her. What we're doing is it is her fault that she's not paying attention and we're showing her, hey, you pay attention, great things happen. You don't pay attention, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable for you. The idea is never to hurt a dog. I stop, little bit of a pop. Yes, good. And we're gonna encourage her. Good girl. Stop. Oh, a little bit of a pop. Yes, good. That's all we're doing here. Sudden stops. It is very important that you do find your dog's proper correction level because it can be different with every dog. Some dogs that are a quarter of her size have a correction level in a situation like this that's times five of what she has. So the size of your dog Yes, good. The size of your dog does not mean your dog has to have a very heavy correction. And we also do have her over pronged, right? She is on a bigger prong, which has less bite. So that is more comfortable, to, so to say. So, yes, good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep doing this until she catches me a couple times. I'm just stopping suddenly and we might bring the correction level up just a smidge. What I was doing was maybe a three out of 10. Maybe we'll bring a four out of 10. Athena, yes, good. Getting her attention, getting her to come back to me. We're gonna pause the video here because there's a dog walking by. She has reactivity, but we'll get back to it in a sec. Okay, we're hopping back into the video with Athena. Let's get her back in walking. We're gonna practice a couple more sudden stops. Stop. Yes, we are gonna bring up the correction level a little bit, as I mentioned. Well, if you want to walk on the right side, you can. But I'm going to walk on your left, on your right. There you go. Yes, good, Athena. Let's let her get a couple more of these in. Some dogs will learn this in two or three times. Some dogs will learn this in two or three minutes. Some dogs will learn this in two or three days. Wouldn't say any longer than two or three days, though. Yes, good. Now she's paying more attention to me. She's significantly more engaged with me, which is exactly what we want. There's a baby and a mama and a stroller walking by, so we'll see how Athena likes this. And uh, she seems to not care. Perfect. Yes, good. Another thing I'm doing is I'm making sure this prong collar stays high. The higher up it is, the more control we have at all times. So essentially it should be pretty much as high as you can get it to go. Um, and it's snug, not, not tight, but snug. Yes, good. So she's walking by my side. I'm not sure gonna keep walking. I'm going to give her a win. I'm gonna stop and show her exactly what we want because we wanna give our dog wins. Yes, good, Athena. I stop walking, she stops with me. We're not asking for a heel. We're not asking for anything more other than loose leash walking and not pulling and just paying attention to me. That's all we're asking of her. And this is a great exercise for you to work on with your dog, if your dog pulls a lot. I don't care if your dog is five pounds or 500 pounds. Send me a picture of a 500 pound dog, but this works with every dog and it is really, really good for your dog's mental as well as your relationship with your dog. Right, I stop. Yes, good girl. This is exactly what we want. We haven't hurt her. We haven't inflicted any pain with her. And we've stopped her pulling in five minutes. We've got the leash back. Come on, let's go. Fix the leash. There we go. Cool. And now the third and final step of what we're going to do to teach a dog how to loose leash walk is sporadic walking. We are going to take sudden U-turns, sudden stops, and walking around, changing speeds, changing directions, and just have her pay attention to us a little bit. So. I will get on her right, her on my left. And we're gonna walk slower now. And if she ever goes to the end of the leash and the leash is tight like this, we're gonna correct that right before it gets tight. Right when it's right there, we're gonna correct before it gets to that. Good, we'll walk fast. This is sporadic walking. Cameraman is gonna love this walking backwards. 
good calf workout. Maybe quads, I don't know. Leave me a comment below. What, what muscle was used when you're walking fast backwards? Who knows? Biology, whatever that word is on human body isn't me, but I'm a dog trainer. Stop, yes, good. We'll do a U-turn. Oh, yes. We're gonna walk this way, cause she walks walk there. We're gonna walk over here. Yes, good. We're making it a game for her, right? This is fun, this is exciting. This is not a punishment. This is a fun exercise for your dog to work on. Yes, good. And now she's walking with a loose leash. We're gonna practice this for a couple days. I guarantee you after two or three walks, you will never pull again. Totally awesome dog. This is exactly how you stop a dog from pulling in maybe seven or eight minutes. If you want to see Athena's progress, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, follow along. Follow me on Instagram. We have a lot of content on there. We'll see you in the next one.